Having grown up with the underwater specials produced by Jacques Cousteau and the adventures of Sea Hunt with Mike Nelson, I decided it was high time I became an underwater storyteller myself. I chose to sign up with Jack's Diving Locker in Kona, Hawaii for several reasons. They were within walking distance from where I was staying, they had friendly customer service, hi Keller, and most importantly, state-of-the-art facilities. The microphone wasn't working on the camera I was using, but I was able to capture some of Keller's all-important dive briefing with a voice recorder. The toilet is really good for number one and for number two, you guys, but not for number three. <laughs> that's seasickness. That's right, Jonathan. Seasickness. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale on a fateful trip that started from this tropic boy aboard this tiny ship. I was fortunate to have two world-renowned instructors, Keller Laros and Jeff Fleischer. One of the things you do as a videographer is prepare a shot list of scenes that you need to have in your video. It's nice to have divers gearing up, divers in the water, divers getting into the water from multiple angles. Once in the water, Jeff immediately had to establish his position as Lord of the Air Rings. From there, he transitioned to performing part of his hula routine, normally seen at the Atlantis Underwater Luau on Sunday night. One of the favorite tricks of the dive master is to shine a light on random stuff and look very enthusiastic and gesture for everyone to come in close and see the wonder for themselves. They'll even tell you on the boat to point to your head or something if you want them to remember what you saw. By the time you get back on the boat and out of your gear, they're prepared to make up a story about the rare and beautiful thing you were privileged to experience. And sometimes the dive master finds something you actually recognize, which is kind of cool, because by this time my shot list has dissolved in the water and I don't remember what I'm trying to shoot. Eels are pretty cool, but of course everyone in the water wants to see something bigger. So far, the closest we've gotten to seeing sharks is Keller pretending to eat people with a shark puppet. But wait, what's this? It's a white-tipped shark tranquilized for the tourists. I don't even need video for this. Until I do. A shark swimming around is much more interesting. But the real excitement and thrill of diving in Hawaii is seeing the extremely rare yellowfish. They come in all sorts of shades and nationalities, and it's so nice to see them all coexisting and getting along much better than the dry humans up on land. After you've been in the water for a while and are running low on air, you have to get back on the boat. It's good form to remember your safety stop. And here's a good example of why you shouldn't drink and dive. A guy doing the hokey pokey on a boat ladder is not going to end up with the girl. Now in order for this story to have a happy ending, we've got to get the people out of the water and back on the boat. Show somebody taking a shower, coming back into port, And I hadn't realized this, but there's a button on the camera that will actually age people 20 years. And here you can see what Jeff looks like 20 years from now. Gained a little weight, lost a little hair, but this is not what he looks like today. 